Hey, art friends, today we're going to draw a lizard. Which one are we going to draw? Iguana. Yeah, iguanas. They're really big. And I think they look really cool because they look like dragon. Well, dinosaurs. Dragons. Yeah. They look yeah. like dragons. And dinosaurs. <laughs> and dinosaurs. We hope you're going to follow along with this. You need something to draw with. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you want. Some paper. paper and something to color with. Yeah. All right, let's get started. Yes. Okay. We're first going to start by drawing his eye. We're going to draw it over here on the left. We're going to draw a circle like that. Then we're going to draw a smaller circle inside. This is to make his eyes look shiny. And we're going to color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. And we're drawing a cartoon version. So we drew a really big eye. Let's draw his, his head next. We're going to draw a little eyelid over his eye. Then we're going to draw the front of his Head. We're going to come forward, or the top of his head, and we're going to curve down like this, right at the front. Now let's draw, we're going to draw a smile. It's going to come like this. It's going to curve up towards his eye. Then right at the end, we're going to curve down. We <laughs> have kind of grumpy looking faces. <laughs> then we're going to draw the bottom of his head. Or his jaw. So we're going to draw another curve that comes down like this. Now right here at the end, let's do a big curve that comes down and around. Yeah. All right. Now right here on his cheek, he has a big circle. They have this crazy lizard texture on their face and on their body. We're going to draw some big shapes right here. So we'll draw another one in front of it, kind of looks like a raindrop shape. Then let's draw a smaller one right here in front of that one. All right, cool. Now let's draw his neck. We're gonna start by drawing a curve that comes down like this, and then right at the end it starts curving in. On the bottom of their head and their neck, they have a bunch of skin. So we're gonna draw a wiggly line that comes down like this, and then right at the end we're gonna curve in to that bottom line. Now let's draw his front leg. We're going to draw a line that's like this, and then it's going to bend forward. It looks like a sideways V. Now right here, we're going to draw the other side of his arm. So we're going to draw another curve that comes like this to his elbow. And then we're going to curve down like this. And look how it got further away down at the bottom. Yeah. All right, now let's draw his toes. We're going to first draw a curve like this and down. This is for his thumb. We're going to curve back up and then now let's draw his other claws. We're going to draw a really long one that comes down really far and then curve at the end. And then we're going to do that same thing. We're going to curve back. All right, let's do that a couple more times. Let's repeat that same line that comes down and curves right at the end and then curve back. Kind of a cartoon version, but also realistic, huh? Yeah. He's gonna have big claws. Okay, we're gonna, this one's gonna <laughs> curve back up. And then we're gonna do one more right at the end. We're gonna curve. And then this one is gonna come in and then connect to his arm. Oh, he's looking really cool. <laughs> All right, now, right here, we're gonna draw another arm. So we're gonna draw a line that comes forward from his neck. Then right here below, we're going to draw another curve that comes forward and it can get wider also, just like we did over here. This is to make him look 3D. So now we're going to draw, we'll draw his first claw. This is going to be his thumb. So we're going to go the opposite direction. We're going to draw the bottom first and then the top. So now we're going to draw a long claw coming forward. And then now we're going to draw the top of that claw coming back. Now let's repeat that three more times. Okay. So he has five fingers. So we're going to draw long bottom part and then the long top. And then I'm going to do two more and look, I'm getting smaller and then we're going to connect back in. Oh, those claws. <laughs> he looks like he could really grab something. Yes. <laughs> I love it. He looks really cool. Now we're going to draw his belly and we're going to curve it back. All right. So we're going to draw 
uh, curve, we're going to imagine his belly going behind his arm and coming out over here. So it looks like one line and we're going to curve it back like this for his belly. Now we're just going to draw one of his legs sticking out back here and the other one is going to be behind his body so we're not going to see it. So first let's draw, let's draw a line that comes down, touches and then bends out. Then we're going to draw the back of his leg. So we're going to draw a curve that comes out like this. And then right at the end, I'm going to curve it. So we're just going to be sitting on his, his foot differently. So we're going to start here We're going to come back over here. Let's draw a curve that comes out like this. We're going to repeat the same steps that we did for his front feet. And then we'll curve back. All right. So now let's come back up here. We're going to draw a really long one and then curve back and we'll repeat that same step until we have five fingers. So one, two, three, four, and then one more. And then the last one, we're gonna connect it into his leg. Awesome, good job, Jack. We got all of his little toes in there. <laughs> he looks really cool. Now we're gonna draw his tail. So this line right here, we're gonna imagine it going behind the leg and then we're gonna come back like this and we're gonna draw it coming around. That's a cool line to draw. Yeah, awesome. Now let's finish his back. So right here, we're gonna draw a line that comes down for the back of his neck. Then we're gonna draw his body coming back to his tail. So it comes down and then bends. Yeah, all right, now we're gonna draw his tail and we're just going to follow that same line that comes around like this but we're gonna to come to a point right at the end. Now let's add a few more details to make it look even more like an iguana. First we need his nostril. Then we need all of the cool spikes that make him actually look more like a dragon. So right here we're gonna draw some spikes on his bottom of his jaw. So we're gonna draw little V's that are connected to each other coming down. Yeah, now let's draw spikes on his back. And these ones are gonna be really cool. So we can draw a small one. Even though it's longer than these, we're gonna get even bigger. So we're gonna draw even longer spikes. And they don't have to look exactly like mine. You can use your own creativity and change your spikes to look different. So as I get back further down his body, I'm gonna get smaller. Now I'm gonna go even further down his body and maybe down his tail just a little bit. I'm also gonna come over here and we're gonna add a few spikes on his nose. Oh, he looks so cool. Now some of them have stripes down their tail. So let's add a curved line like this going up and down and we're gonna go around his tail. So I'm gonna repeat that same step gets smaller as we go back, but look how 3D his tail looks now that we've added this curved stripe down his tail. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our iguana. He looks really cool, except he's gonna look even better once we color him. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys composite to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Good job, man. You did awesome on coloring your iguana. I love how he turned out and I love all of the extra colors, texture that we use to make them look more, even more realistic. Now you guys at home, if you want, you can pause the video to match the same coloring or you could just color him a solid color to keep this lesson a little easier. You could just color him completely green or, or even purple if you yeah. wanted. <laughs> I added more texture on his cheek and also added more texture up here on his nose. Now we used a light green for the main color of his body and then we went back over it with a blue to add the texture and shading. And then we also used yellow for or kind of an orange color for his spikes on his back. 
We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your iguana. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, join our monthly membership and download our app. You can watch all of our art lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. In the app, you can also download lessons to watch without any Wi-Fi connection. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to join.